everyone, Amy Love here, and I had some free time to craft today, which rarely ever happens, and I was just very thankful for it. And I was actually inspired by a Stamperia paper pad called Blue Stars, and this is literally all I have left of Blue Stars. I've had it for um, a couple years now, and I love it, and I have used it to death, and when I was organizing my craft room this weekend, I ran into some thing, long lost things, and I was really inspired to use this paper pad. Oh, let me go ahead and turn the sound off on my phone. I forgot to do that. So this is um, one of the cards from the paper pad, and I just um, outlined the text, and I used stickles on her lace ruffles and all of the glittery bits and then I added these little tiny um, butterflies with bling in them. Um, I like to make these in a batch sitting. I'll just sit and make a bunch of ton of these butterflies so um, this paper lent itself uh, very well to those little embellishments I created. So I made this little box, this cute little box and inside I made like a little mini journal, just a little one. And I left, I sewed most of this thing on my sewing machine and I left all the yummy, yummy threads. I just left them because I love the way that it looks. I love it. So um, it says, just like the butterfly, I will awake in my own time, which I just love. So I added some more of my butterfly embellishments to that and then, um, outlined all the text with a brown sharpie and I added um, this lace everywhere that I could. I just love it. I added one of these cute little fairy charms. Let me bring that in there. So cute. It's like a fairy on a half moon. Uh, adorable. I got that from Angel Dream Crafts by the way. And I happen to have blue seam binding so that's what I used as the uh, closure. I just think it's so cute. It's just so cute. I love this paper pad. I'm kind of sad that I'm almost out of it. But um, I did make pockets and tags and tuck spots. And I added some uh, tea dyed papers that I stamped on some of them. And then this is a, just a beautiful card from the paper pad. And the backs of the cards are perfect for journaling. I added this little belly band and a little tag right here and some more tea dyed papers and stamping. So cute. And then I added little butterflies wherever I could and little rhinestones because I just think they're so cute. And this is, um, I alternated between this lace and the other lace I showed you in the beginning. Isn't it adorable? And then here it, she is again. I just think she's so precious. So precious. But it was fun to just be able to spend the day playing with my supplies and with this paper pad. And I just think it's stinking cute. It's, it's adorable. But you can't go wrong when you have a beautiful paper you're working with. Another tuck spot and a tag. And then this one has a, um, a little tag and a bigger tag. Just super cute. So I had such a great time making this little little journal and the little box to put in it. It was just cute. So I thought I'd just come on and share it with you really quickly because I hardly, it seems like I don't have time to craft anything anymore that's not a design team project. But so I just wanted to share with this with you. And please leave me a comment and let me know what you think and give me a thumbs up and Hopefully I'll find some time to make something real soon and I'll come on and share it with you again. Thanks everybody.